cool, y'all. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Amen. Let's go. Yes, sir. You already know, man. This is your brother. This is your host. This is your host, brother Ramon, man. Welcome to Dropping Seeds Ministry. <laughs> Amen. Dropping Seeds Ministry, man, is all about positive reaffir reinforcement through the Word of God. End time events Bringing the scriptures to life Through the teachings Through the Holy Spirit And sharing The heart of God With man Amen That's what we're all about That's what I'm all about Down here in Jacksonville, Florida I am your host, Brother Ramon And before we get into it I want y'all to check out a new track For my boy T.Y. <laughs> T.Y. Legacy Lego Lord, we need your spirit, Lord, to follow on. Blow, wind blow, wind blow, blow. Really got waves, we blow the wind blow. Wind wind blow. Obedient, being obedient to the Father, amen. Lord, we just thank you this morning, this afternoon, this evening for anyone that's listening to this podcast, Father. Lord, I ask you to talk to the mind, talk to the spirit this morning, Lord, that you are the head and not the tail, that we are the head and not the tail, that you are the first and the last. And Father, without you, Lord, we are nothing. Lord, you give eternal life to anyone that is willing to. Confess that your son Yeshua Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior Father for everything that we pray and we ask Lord We even ask you Lord for anyone that's listening to this message Lord That's going through some hardships Going through some pains and aches in their body And their mind dealing with mental illness and depression Lord we bind that spirit of the strong man right now We cast him in the pits of hell where he come from in Jesus name And everything that has breath let him say Amen Amen So you know, I always like to start it with a uh, scripture. In the book of John, chapter 10, verses 28 through 30, it says, And I gave them eternal life, the Messiah, Elohim, and they shall never perish, and no one shall snatch them out of my hand. Hallelujah. My Father who has given 
them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. And I am the Father are one. Hallelujah. No one can snatch you out of the Father's hand. Once the Lord has pulled you out of that place, Lord has pulled you out of a place of darkness, Lord has pulled you out of the old man. Listen, you ain't going back now. You something you you the Lord ain't gonna just let you go. He says him and the Father is one. But I don't want you to take even that part out of context because many have went back to the old man. Many have went back into sin. Many have went back into the things that they used to do. I'm telling you that, that that's not what this is about. I'm telling you that's not what the Lord has, has ordained for you to do. He told you in the book of Romans chapter 6, he says, Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. So I'm talking about being obedient. I'm talking about understanding though as, as, as the wind blows. As the Lord blows the wind in your life, as the Lord tells us, hey, I need you to come out and sin. Hey, I don't need you to do this no more. I don't need you to do that no more. I need you to be that new man, that new creature in Christ. Behold, all things become new. All those old things have passed on. So sometimes, brothers and sisters, we've got to look deep down in ourselves. And he says, choose ye this day who you will serve. There's a fire that's going to be lit on this podcast from now on out because I have to be obedient. And I'm even having to be obedient as a leader, as a preacher, as a pastor, as a husband, as an evangelist, all these things, as a leader, as a, as a, as just a servant of the most high God. I have to be careful on where I pour my time into and things I pour my time into. And in this season, the Lord is allowing me to just quiet down a lot of my social medias and get more deep into my studies and get things prepared for the things that are coming upon the horizon. Amen. Being obedient. A wise man, a prudent man. Amen. Come on. A wise man and a prudent man. Well, see the destruction coming. See the things coming upon the horizon. And he would not hide himself. He says hide himself, but prepare his house, prepare his home. Amen. Listen to what he says in the book of First Peter. Chapter 1 verse 3 says Blessed be the God our Father Our Lord Jesus Christ By his grace mer- for his, By his great mercy We have been born anew And living in hope through The resurrection of Jesus Christ From the dead But we have been born anew You see that He says that He said that we We, we, we bless, his, bless our God the Father our Lord Jesus Christ by his grace and mercy that we have been born or old <laughs> or still holding on to the old. He says we're born anew and living in the hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And he talks about that right there in the book of Romans. He says that old man is crucified at the cross and now you have risen. You have resurrected with Jesus Christ as a new man. Obedience. So you're no longer the old no more. You're now the new man. So I'm telling somebody, you sitting here struggling with your old ways, still struggling with all the things that you used to do. You got to come out of that mental mindset. You got to break that strong man. No, greater. Come on. Greater is he. Come on, say it with me. Greater is he that is in me than me that's in the world. I'm greater, but I'm nothing without Yeshua. I'm greater with Yeshua, but I'm nothing without Yeshua. I'm greater with Jesus, but I'm nothing without Jesus. There is nothing in this life I can do with, without the Father. I can't finish without the Father. Thank you, Lord. I can't wake up without the Father. Thank you, Lord. I wake up, Lord, giving you praise. I wake up giving you honor. I wake up giving you glory. Are you hearing me? This is kind of this is the kind of mindset we got to have in this hour. Hallelujah. So break break the stronghold, Lord. Break the stronghold in my life, Father. Come on, listen. I told you. You talking about being obedient? You want to you want to be blessed like Abraham? You want to be blessed like some of the, 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 the disciples of old, some of the prophets of old, some of the apostles of old because they understood. They got the blueprint. Well, guess what? You're going to have to sit down. Come on, somebody. You got to sit down. You got to wait on them. Oh, sometimes you got to stay there in that valley. Sometimes you got to sit there in that seat. And I got to shut your mouth. And you got to sit there. And Lord, yes, yes, Father. Amen. I'm learning this too as well. Listen, I'm talking to myself. My brother had to chin check me with the word yesterday. Like, listen, bro, I love you, bro. But you're going to get this reproof. 
Like you doing good. Like you doing what you need to do. But there's more. There's more levels to this. Like he told John in the book of Revelation. I need you to come up a little bit higher. There's some things I got to show you. Amen. Living a righteous life. Living a life of holiness. Amen. Doing all those things. Not service of sin no more. Not doing none of those backsliding movements. No. But the Lord says, hey, son, I need. I got more for you, Ramon. I need you to keep deep in these studies because there's some things I got to bring out. And the only way I'm going to be able to get them bringing out, you You got a following. You got a mouthpiece. I got to use you. Are you hearing me? I'm telling that to somebody that's listening. Be obedient and watch the Lord bring you up higher. Watch the Lord transform your situation. Watch the Lord put you where you need to be. But you got to be obedient. Amen. So this is part one of being obedient. I think we're going to roll through this the rest of the week. Amen. Lord spares my life and give me opportunity to do it. We're going to roll this thing. So be blessed, be encouraged, be ready, man. King coming. Shabbat shalom to some. Getting ready to fall into the Sabbath here on Friday sundown, Saturday sundown. But every day is the Sabbath to me. I'm just speaking to the ones that hold it down like that, like the Messiah tells us to do and keeping his commandments. Amen. Oh, no, I ain't got time to play, man. I ain't got time to play. I'm holding dear to the word. I got to hold dear to the word. I got to set myself apart even more. He says, come from among them and be ye separate and touch the unclean thing. Amen. So be blessed, be encouraged. Share the podcast. Thank you for downloading. Keep downloading, man. I got more coming. We're going to keep doing this obedience uh, 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 this obedience segments until we get it all done. So the Lord tells me to move away from it and we'll go to the next one. Amen. So be blessed, be encouraged. King coming. Shalom. Lord, we need your spirit, Lord, to follow. Blow, wind blow, wind blow. Blow, wind blow. Blow, wind blow.